What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Adrian Knights, your favorite host. We're back at it again. Another episode. Before we begin, I just want to say, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, Mouthing Out. Stay tuned to the end, and then this guy will give us one piece of advice. Right now, I am here with... Your boy, T-Diamonds, a.k.a. Chocolate Uno. How did you get that name? How did I get Chocolate Uno? Yes. I think I made that up. You know why? Why'd you make because that up? Because I am the only chocolate nigga to do this. The one and only chocolate <laughs> nigga oh, doing this. Oh, okay. So that actually makes... Come on. Okay, there's thought behind it. There's like, Come on. <laughs> Stomp the ground. So look, um, you're going viral right now. Yeah. I would definitely say you're going viral now. Yes, sir. Let's talk about what's going viral. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. What type okay. of content are you doing? So the reason I'm going viral is because they see... Black guys dancing to Spanish music. Crazy. Now, okay. <laughs> give, give me, give me, right? Crazy. So, okay, on their side, they might think that I'm uh, culture appropri appropriating, mm -hmm. like, you know, making fun of their culture or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nah, it's really love behind what I do. You know what I'm saying? When I go out there and dance, it's always a message. Uh, my message is always there's no community without unity. You know what I'm saying? So it's always love and heart uh, what I put into uh, my content. And, um, I actually like um, took my time to actually research the different yeah, research. styles of uh, Latin culture. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like the dances. I know the difference between bachata, salsa, merengue, banda, zapateo, uh, la iguana, all that. You and know. So what you I'm know saying? how to do all these. Dances? I know how to. I know how to do all that, bro. <laughs> so when you at the quinceaneras or I, whatever, come on, any song you know they come put, on. peso de rodeo. <laughs> like, come on, that's like the electric. That's like the black electric slide, bro. The black. Oh, I was watching that. I was watching. You saw that, bro? When they, when they go like, uh, I'm like, nigga, yes, that's electric slide. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Damn, so crazy. it's like we the same. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm trying to. I'm trying to tell people. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, black and brown, we run the town. You know why? Because we we like the same. We brothers and sisters. So what got you kind of doing that at first? Because like I grew up around like you know the Spanish community. I grew up around mm -hmm. you know Mexicans and mm -hmm. stuff like that, right? So you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's just how I picked it up. And then, um, so I just started, I started hearing their, hearing their music. I'm like, nigga, hold up. I'm like, nigga, <laughs> hold up. This shit actually bang. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I'm like, you know, the beat. Dee, 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 Make you want to dance. Like, exactly. It bro. makes you want to dance. And I'm like, nigga, there ain't no motherfucking discrimination between music. Because if true. I hear a beat, oh, I'm going to dance to it. And if That's I true. like it, I'm going to dance. That's how I really got into it. Because it was, it was showing me some of their music. And I'm like, damn, this shit bang. I started dancing to that shit. I'm like, I got, I really got to get in tune with this. So I got to know the uh, different type of music there is, the different type of dances there is to it. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I um, a, a freaking um, I just memorized the beats and everything. I got yeah. it down packed like to a. So but but you're up. literally going to these events. It's not like you're just, you know, partaking, exactly. dancing with everybody. You exactly. dance with everybody, but you're definitely standing out. <laughs> you got the whole Come cowboy on, get up. up. You know what I'm saying? I got it. Like, we, yeah, we, we, we had to get the cowboy set you up. You bring in the energy and mm -hmm. all of that, bro. Like, exactly. Bro. Why did you want to take it mm -hmm. to, a next to the level? standout level? You know what I'm because saying? Because there's actually, you know... Uh, People that message me about you know what I do, they be like, um, "Dang man, you really changing lives out there. Mm. You really uh bringing joy to my heart." Like I made like a wow. lot of people cry. Like we we really made like a lot of people cry. So that's what really made me take it seriously. You know what I'm saying? Damn. And we, and we really do this for like the, the little kids that's growing up because you know people got people got mixed uh, parents, black and Mexican parents, and that's they and fact. they raise. You know what I'm saying? So they so they mixed kids. So they grow up. People just racial profiling them, you know what I'm saying? Mm. They don't know what's going on in their lives. They probably picking on them for this and that. But really, they just mix, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we really do it for, like the little kids that's growing up, you know what I'm saying? So your first couple, okay, so your first time, I'll say like your first couple of times going out there, what was kind of the reaction? I'm sure you guys had good reactions. Let me tell you the first okay. time. Look, I'm look. Sure you I'm, no, listen, I'm going to be real. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all the first reaction. <laughs> so the first reaction, it, it, it all started like... um. I say this this year when the COVID happened and then we was doing the mm -hmm. BLM protest. Yeah. Okay, so we went to the BLM protest, right? And so um we fuck with the Latino community, but they wasn't being heard as much. You know what I'm saying? Yep. They they stories wasn't getting heard on the uh on the on the TV uh screen either. Yeah. So we wanted to go out there and show their side as well as our community so we could be together. So 
It all started when we went to the to the uh, La Raza uh, protest, and nigga, we brought in a speaker and we put on Spanish music. The La Chona, you can't resist. We had to, <laughs> you we, the you can't resist, bro. And then we had the Mexican <laughs> flags, and we was running into the crowd, and then we started dancing. I swear to God, it was all love. Then nigga was like, "Ey, ey, 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 solo, solo." That mean get it, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like get it, get it. Nigga. You know what I'm saying? But it was like all love. It was it was like no hate towards uh, in, in that uh, particular situation. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, have y'all had any bad running? Yeah. Wait, what? Any bad run-ins? I mean, it's, nah, it's only, like, listen, okay. Okay, go ahead. It's only bad. It's only bad run-ins on the internet. On the internet, but in person, but in person, they it ain't none of that, web, bro. And that's and that's what I'm and that's what I'm gonna get to. You know what I'm saying? Um, the internet is used to um promote the negative side of things. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So we're on the internet to promote the positive side Love, of things. Unity, you know what I'm saying? Like you were saying. Exactly. Love overcomes all. You know what I'm saying? It ain't no community without unity. So that's what I'm trying to spread on the internet. All the positivity and 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 uh you know dish all that negativity like you know out of here. Like, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Get that out of here. I'm trying to show them it's always a positive way of things. You know? So, okay. Guys going by right now. Mm-hmm. Let's take them a little bit uh about your background, your past. Background. What? Past. Uh, where? Where are you from? Where? 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 Where were you born? Mm-hmm. And where are you from? Okay, I was born in Los Angeles, California. You know hey. what I'm saying? Okay. And uh, I was raised. Um, I went to Crenshaw High School. Okay. As a matter of fact, so I was in Crenshaw District. You know what I'm saying? And I was raised also um, MacArthur Park. That's where all the Latino. That's where the Latino community. That's why. <laughs> so I get, that's where it nigga, come in. That's where it came in. That's where it came that's in. I ain't gonna lie. That's where it came <laughs> in. That nigga. The vendors, pupusas. I get my pupusas every morning. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Little background on me. Um, what I was always. Uh, oh my bad. Uh, I was always. I, I never had stage fright growing up. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I was always that child to stand out. And people would always come to me and be like, you're going to be a star one day. You're going to be a star one day. Ooh. But I didn't know that because I was a little kid, so I just never minded. I just kept doing what I do. You know, it's all natural when they come to me. I, uh, I was dancing, singing, you know what I'm saying, rapping, acting, all that. You know what I'm saying? What, well, what was like your, I guess, your household? Like, were your parents mm-hmm. in the arts or entertainment world? My like, dad. Okay. <laughs> okay. I get everything from my dad, bro. Like, he used to be a break dancer back in the day. Wow. I'm I'm literally his twin. I look just like him. He he used to dance back in the day. He used to do entertainment. I literally get my whole personality and everything from him. Everything. Damn, that's dope. Yeah, bro. So now look at you now, bro. Exactly, right? Look at you now. You know, I'm following in his footsteps. I'm trying to be on family. Yeah, exactly. and, hey, come on. Let's talk. <laughs> Let's talk you you want me to that. tell you about the accomplishment? You know, you, know, you like how I just you know going what into that. that. Yeah. Right? I'm like how you just, you know, move walk your way into that. You know what I'm saying? So you about to be on Telemundo. Come on, baby. And for those of you who don't know what Telemundo is, it's like Spanish, the ne- Spanish news. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Go right. Ahead. And it's and it's big and popular. On it's May huge. It's, it's very it's real huge. huge bro. Yeah, it's real huge. Oh, and I'm also about to be on on um, it's 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 their Good Morning America. I don't their know what it's called, it. gotcha. but it's it's their Good Morning America. Okay. At the end of that, you know, so so I got Telemundo and that coming up. It's like uh, interview type of thing. Yeah, I think like- I think it's like. It's, it's, it's like that. I'm sure they want you to come yeah. dance. Oh, yeah. They're going to have me dance. <laughs> and I don't mind doing it. No, you know I'm doing it. But how did, how did that opportunity come about? Uh, they just saw my videos uh, on TikTok, Instagram. You know what I'm saying? All these people be coming through me uh, through TikTok, Instagram, like, you know, with partnerships and deals. Yeah. And that's what I'm about to get to right now. <laughs> that's what I'm about to get to right now. Uh, Shoe Warehouse had hit me up for a partnership, so you know what I'm saying? I'm partnering up with them. I got their kicks on right now. <laughs> Go to Shoe Warehouse and get you some branded kicks for cheap. <laughs> Who doesn't want branded kicks for cheap? Y'all going out spending all this Do, money for Jordans. They got them for cheap. Do you got like a a, a, a link? Personal link, uh, link no, no, or anything not, like that? N- not yet. We'll put it in the bio, Yeah, though. yeah but we're going to put it in the bio. It's definitely going to be something Chocolate okay. Uno. Com- mm-hmm. Coming up. Okay. Exactly. Um, and all this is from, like, the Spanish dancing, yeah, the, all that. this content. All that. Wow. All that's that. crazy. All that, bro. It's just, it's just God uh, sending me blessings, bro, because uh, the more you dish out uh, positivity, that's what you're going to get back. Mm-hmm. What you put into it, you're going to receive that type of, you're going to reciprocate that type of energy. That's why I always tell me and my boys, we got to uh, we gotta dish out love, positivity, unity, so it can come back to us. You never know what blessings go come upon us. So that's what we do. We really do it for the love and the respect and the unity and all that. So we got we got we got a passion behind what we do. Mm-hmm. We don't just go out there and just dance 
just to dance, it's always a message. Like, when I go out there, you see my face, bro? If you see my face, I'm you really, in like, it. in tune, bro. <laughs> you I'm, be not in play, yeah, like, I'm really, like, in tune. With it. I really want to get this out there, like, to, to, to let everybody feel it. That's probably why it's going. Exactly. In exactly. It. All of you's in it, you know what Exactly. I'm it's the passion, bro. I'm telling you. What, um... Now you was already popping, I'll say, before you started doing this. What? <laughs> Come on. What? What were you doing before this? Um, what was you know? I was doing con dancing, but the uh the video that went viral, many people may not know this, but I don't know if y'all saw this. The LMA when I was at the concert, I had the red flag on and I had the white shirt, and then I was you know I was grinding the stage to uh, <laughs> LMA. Ooh, I would never get over it. You went to find something new. Many people didn't know that was me, but yeah, that's me. That's the video that I had went Dang. viral all over. That's what really got me like popping, popping. Like I went like all over the net type. So, Rihanna followed me. What? Hello? Got the follow from Hello? I, just, I, didn't even, really? I didn't even mean to put that out there. <laughs> I just wanted to throw that out there. She that's followed crazy, me from that, bro. Yeah, yeah, she followed me from that. Mm -hmm. I know you're just looking like. Bro, no, you listen. Got to follow I through. was in like I was in, I was I was just like you know uh, reposted because everybody was doing a challenge. You know yeah. when they was grinding the stage, and then one of the comments said, "Bro, you lit, Rihanna follow you." I'm like, "Excuse me, <laughs> what you talking about, bro?" So I go, I go in Rihanna. my shit. Yeah, I go in my shit, and I'm like, oh. "Hell yeah!" Hey, Sap, you got some competition, my nigga. Hey. <laughs> For sure, for sure. Hey, Seth Rocky, you got some competition. Man. You feel but, me? That's all I'm it, saying. How did it? Why do you think it went? Like, were people like, posting it? It was. Just uh, a, you said why you think it went viral? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was organic. Everything I do was organic. I didn't record it. I didn't mean for anybody to record it. I was just dancing, you know, having a good time, like I always do. You know what I'm saying? And so, um, the next morning, Facebook, everybody tagged me on Facebook. I'm like, oh my god, what happened now? What was your account mm -hmm. at? Before mm -hmm. that video, my Instagram account, yeah. Ooh, I say my account was, I think it was at like 10k, and then after, like, after after that, it went to like 25k, Damn. then it went to 35k. Damn, and now we are like, what, 50? we at 60? 60, okay, oh, Jesus Whoa. Christ, <laughs> somebody give me a calculator, <laughs> give me a calculator, huh. Okay, so look, um, do you know what an elevator pitch is? Uh, right, elevator. Wait, first, do you have like management or anything like that? Or yeah, I got, I got, I got, I got a manager. Shante, what's happening? In you already building. know what it is. Shante, mm. um, but we're not signed to no agency or anything like nope, that. Nope, none of that. Are you looking to, up. or are you open to it? I mean, or signed to an entertainment company, something like that. Nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? I'm self-made. You know what I'm saying? So what if they throw? If they throw a pitch at me? <laughs> hello. <laughs> You know, the right pitch, the right, right deal. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is what we're going to do. Let's see. All right, so you know the elevator pitches. What is the elevator pitch? I'm all assuming right, so it goes up and down. Yes, okay. and you're pitching. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, but uh, um, yeah. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a picture, okay? Okay. And within this picture, I'm going to have you pitch yourself, you, your brand, mm -hmm. your whole image to gotcha. entertainment companies, okay. agencies, mm -hmm. on why they should sign you, why they should do business oh, with yeah. you, uh -huh. Um, you know, other... Like warehouse company, you know, mm -hmm. shoe warehouse, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So, but you have one minute to do so. One minute. One minute to do so. So okay. think like Shark Tank. Okay. You're pitching yourself entertainment companies. Okay. Okay. All right. So let me paint the picture. All right. Damn. <laughs> like, they excited. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. So we're in a big corporate building. Okay. Big tall skyscraper gotcha. official looking motherfucker. Got you. Yes. All right. <laughs> we're um, at the top floor. All right. Going to the bottom floor. We're in this elevator. Who's okay. in this elevator? I'm in this elevator. You're in this elevator. Gotcha. Um, we have, you know, like Warner Bros. We got Universal. We mm -hmm. have the top agencies in the world. Anybody you can think of, anybody who you ever wanted to be signed to or do mm -hmm. business with is in this elevator. Got you. Okay? All right. You got one minute mm -hmm. to pitch to them on why they should do business with you, why they should sign you, why they should fuck with you and your brand. Got and, you. And go. Why you should fuck with me? You want to know why? Let me ask you something. You ever had a family before? You ever had them feel before? You ever had sympathy for them? I'm him. I'm here to bring out unity within the community. Hmm. Why you should sign me? Because I'm for the people. Hmm. I'm for my community. You know why? The community is going to back me up hmm. regardless. I put love and passion into what I do. That's why you should sign me. 
Because I, it's not like I just come out there and do whatever for whatever reason, for money or nothing. It's not even for the money. It's for the love and the passion. And guess who going to back me up? The community. The if community. I do it for them, they going to back me up. It's all love and passion what I do. And I got, like, I got, I, I dance, I rap, I act, I sing. I do it all. I have a multi-talented. It ain't nothing I could do. Mm. And if there is something I can't do, guess what I'm going to do? Learn how to do it. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm a fast-ass learner, might I add. How you think I learned bachata, salsa, money? <laughs> I am self-taught. Nobody taught wow. me this. I watch and I do it myself. That's why you should sign me. There you have it. And just in case any of them come across this interview exactly. and want to tap in with you, what's your social media? I'm for the people. Oh, okay. <laughs> social oh. media. All right. My social media. Uh, come on now. Uh, Instagram, <laughs> T-Diamonds Official. TikTok, T-Diamonds Official. Facebook, T-Diamonds Official. And is it is it just the letter T and then diamonds or yeah. you want to the letter T you know and then diamonds and official and then underscore there we go everything boom T diamonds official exactly authentic love community passion all that and everything unity that. all unity. that unity there you go love, you know I love this interview <laughs> I appreciate it. nigga I love this interview bro <laughs> appreciate this it. nigga right here. <laughs> Hell yeah. So bro. look, okay, so what's next for you? We got the Telemundo interviews. We got the shoot shoot house. The, I got bandas, live bandas wanting oh, us yes. to come and perform with them. Yes, talk about it. Talk about it. For you know, huh? <laughs> we go to Pico Rivera one time and they fuck. They love us. They want us to come back. Damn. Huh? They want us to come back every time. You know what I'm saying? Because of how lit we be. You it, think. You we, think, the, nigga, we was the only <laughs> black niggas there. You know that, right? <laughs> Pico Rivera is full of, you know, you know the Latino community. Yeah. We came in there and we shut that motherfucker down. I'm going to tell you why. We the only black niggas that knew how to dance to shit. Some of them motherfuckers didn't even know they how to dance. They didn't know it. how to do it. And they, that's their own culture. And exactly. And we came in there. <laughs> Y'all got to really look at these the videos. This, he be going crazy. This, it's crazy. Do you think this is something that you can, um, like, tour with? Hell yeah. Nick, they want uh, Listen, we going to start a tour. We're starting a tour, for That's sure. Dope. They I want us in, in, in Texas. They want us in Guadalajara. They want us in Jalisco, Mexico. Damn. They want us all over the world. We got fans all over the world, That's bro. That's fire. As, you know what I'm saying? And so, and they been wanting me to go to Texas since boot up. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So, we it's only right we do a tour. So, it is something I could definitely tour off of. And I plan on doing anyway. Congrats, man. And like I said earlier when we was walking up, I just want to say kudos to you for, like, just Thank not you. being afraid. Yeah, no, not never. being afraid. You know, that's a whole nother culture. You right. know, they're not used to that type of stuff. Exactly. And other people might have the idea, oh, this would be dope to do this, but, you know, they're not jumping exactly. off the porch and doing it. Exactly. And, you know, the thing is, bro, people from the Internet tend to have something to say when they not doing it. You know what I'm saying? They not, oh, you should do this. Oh, you should do that. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Why are you telling me this? Why you ain't doing this? That's true. Why you ain't doing that? I'm doing this so that, you know what I'm saying, all the other black people, you know, could follow in the footsteps. So Open we go, doors. Oh, that's You're opening the exactly. doors. Exactly. And that's how you create a community right there. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you set an example, and then you have people follow you, and then once that, once that gathers and builds up, it's a whole community, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody going to stop us then. Who going to stop us? Who going to stop Black us? and brown. Who going to stop Black and brown. Who going to stop who gonna stop us, guys? Who gonna stop? 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 I got track with this nigga one time, bro. Hey, look. Um. Okay. So, are there any like big collabs that you would like to like in mind? Nigga, I forgot. Tapatio. Tapatio followed me. If y'all know what that is, that nigga, that's the that's the Mexican hot sauce. Nigga, they they follow me. And and Ooh, and they a, definitely about to do a partnership that's what with I was your about boy. To say, yeah. Uh, but you said, is there any brands I want to work with? Brands, it could be people too. Got gotcha. you. Uh, let me see. Big collab. Big collab. Okay. Uh, that's I would love dope. to collab with um. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be like with some of the some of the big now. Mexican bands, <clears throat> like the ones that made La Chona. You know what I'm saying, and uh, Mambo Lupita. Like I would, I would want to work with them. I would want to work with um, Jay Z business wise. Jay Z business wise, I would want to work with uh, J Cole. J Cole. 
I would want to uh, partner up with uh, probably you know Nikes or Adidas, e- either 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 shoe company. You know what I'm saying? You gotta get a um a um a cowboy boot deal. Cause you you know what? what? Hey, my motherfucker. <laughs> and and they trying to customize shoes for us. Oh, uh, and, 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 and and shoe warehouse, <laughs> they don't only have kicks. They got boots as well. So that's come on, <laughs> botas, bro. Botas, that's what we Bot- Botas, <laughs> that's what we call. Them. They got them as well. So that's 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 definitely in the works, bro. Damn, I gotta get all that. This is dope. And, exactly. You and going the thing up is, right now, bro. And 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 and, and, the, and the thing up? is, I we originally we didn't do this for like money. You feel yeah. me? But money coming at us. It came. And a nigga ain't gonna turn it down. You know what I'm saying? Before we get to our last segment, I kind of so we got the opinions of kind of the Hispanic culture, just their first reaction to mm-hmm. you, et cetera. What was the black culture like? Your Boy, friends, your let homies. me tell you. Oh man. <laughs> okay, so you got half half. You got half of them supporting it. Mm. And then you got half saying that, okay, but what about the black community? Dang. <laughs> Nigga, look at my skin color. I am black. I am a black man doing this for us. Exactly. I'm trying to I'm trying to dispute race wars that's in the community. Mm. Cuz it ain't nothing but that online, bro. Is it is that a big thing? I'm oh, from yeah, the, oh, I'm yeah. from the south, you know, oh, so yeah. it's not I, I've heard that mm-hmm. the Latinas and the blacks is exactly. like a thing. Let me say exa- exactly why we doing this because it's it's, it's 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 race wars going on that people don't know about. Like wow. if you check on the big uh, Latino uh, Latino pages, they post us, and then you got some Latinos that are racist. Oh, look at these mayates, they're cultural pre- uh, appropriating and, and and shit like that. They, you yeah. know they're down talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know you got the the other half that's like having our back. You know what I'm saying? And so. It's it's like positivity overriding that negativity because it's more people now than it was then that's you know supporting us. Yeah. They they realize what we doing it for. They they actually took the time to see a nigga page and what I do and and how we march we march with La Raza. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I I would say it was more hate back then, mm-hmm. but now it's more love because they took the time Damn. and actually sat down and see what we really do it for. And that's what I encourage everybody to do. Before you judge somebody, sit down, do your research, and take the time to get to know that person before you judge. Them. Don't judge a book by its cover. Damn all it, this it, shit, thing in the read book. the index or yeah, something. The- <laughs> shit, damn. <laughs> Right, we are back from our commercial break. Yes, sir. Um, so we're about to hop into our last segment called One Piece of Advice. Mm-hmm. And so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to give one piece of advice to certain groups of people, a person. It might be an inanimate object or, you know, everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so first, or so, okay. Give one piece of advice to people looking to start doing social media content, I guess. One piece of advice. Okay. One piece of advice. Um. First, God first at the end of the day. Mm. Second of all, manifest. Mm. Third of all, positivity. Always put positivity in your work. Put positivity, love, and passion in everything you do. And always put God, you know, always pray. You know what I'm saying? You got to pray. Um, What else would I, I would, get, don't copy nobody else shit. Interesting. Because people will come for you for that. Mm-hmm. Get your own content. You know what I'm saying? Get something. Uh, do something unique that Original. nobody's ever done. Don't be afraid to, you know, step out of the, outside of the box and be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't be nobody else. Be yourself. You know what I'm saying? So don't ever be afraid to step out of the box. Don't ever, 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 ever worry about another motherfucker opinion. <laughs> you know why? Because they're not paying you. Ooh. They are not paying you. Talk about it. Don't you ever, ever ever worry about what the next motherfucker gonna say because they ain't doing nothing for you. Facts. They ain't gonna elevate you or nothing. Worry about yourself. You know what I'm saying? 
get it, uh, worry about yourself, you know what I'm saying? Follow the steps, and you know what I'm saying? You, you'll succeed a long way. Okay. Have faith, have God. Okay. So next, I want you to give. So you, you know, being born in L.A., mm-hmm. uh, raised in L.A., mm-hmm. um, what's some advice you would give somebody moving to L.A.? Okay. What, like, steps you think they should take, um, you know, just connects. Connects. You gotta connect. You gotta. Uh, you gotta. You gotta network out here. You know what I'm saying? You gotta move right. You gotta stay low key. You mm-hmm. can't tell everybody your business. Mm-hmm. Everybody ain't your friends out here. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Growing mm-hmm. up in LA, it's real. It's real <laughs> shit. Damn. It's real shit. Everybody ain't your friends. Everybody snake. Everybody envious. Everybody jealous of you. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you something now. If you're moving from here to LA, network right. Don't you ever get. Don't you ever get too comfortable in any situation at all. Because mm-hmm. you never know. At all. This is L.A. You can never get too comfortable out here. Stay low key. Do your own shit. You know what I'm saying? You can network with other people, but just don't get too, you know, too yeah, yeah. friendly or nothing like that. Exactly. Unless you feel like, you know, that that person is uh somebody you could potentially, you, you know. You deem go, them worthy. Hey, yeah, 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 exactly. Unless you feel that way. But I'm going to tell you off top, don't you ever, ever come to L.A. thinking it's going to be all just sweet. Anything can, just, it, anything can happen, bro. Anything. Dang. So, yeah. That's, okay. the, that's just the real. I'm not about to give y'all the, the sweet shit. Nah. No, nah, that's, that's good advice because, you know, I'm sure you got homeboys. Just oh, like yeah. I got homeboys that's never even stepped foot outside their town or mm-hmm. they, they block, whatever the case may be. So, exactly. you know, I just kind of like to give insight for my audience back. You know, right. south just or watching anywhere that's never been here, just mm-hmm. what they expect if they just want to come yeah. over here. Facts, because people people are saying, "Oh yeah, come to LA. It's it's nice and sunny. People are friendly." I'm not gonna give you that side because it's not it's not true. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. I'm gonna give you the real shit. You know okay. what I'm saying? You got some people that that is friendly, but at the end of the day, watch your back out yeah. here. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's all good. Okay, now give one piece of advice to um to um let me see. One piece of advice to the Latina uh, community. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> my carnals, my tias, my abuelitas, my tios. Let me tell y'all something. I love y'all. Um, one, one piece of advice. If you see a black guy <laughs> <laughs> dancing to y'all music uh-huh. and enjoying himself and actually own beat to the <laughs> music, don't hate that nigga. Don't hate that nigga. Don't hate that negrito. Please don't hate him. You know what you should do? Jump in and dance with him. Yeah. At yeah. the end of the day. You know why? Because we all brothers and sisters and we all the same motherfucking shit. <laughs> Facts. All right. We family. T- Latinos T- and black people, I don't give a fuck what anybody say. T- we will do the same shit. In T- the building. T- Go ahead and drop your social media one more time, brother. T Diamonds official underscore. That's for everything, y'all. And then your uh, Hispanic name, your Hispanic alias. Chocolate Uno. Because <laughs> I'm the only nigga, the, the only nigga to do this shit. There can only be one. All right. Um, before we go, I just want you, uh, you got to pass the torch. Okay. And so basically what that is, you have to call out someone, anybody who you think that should be on this show. Okay. And just, that's passing a torch. You challenge them to come on my show, mouth okay. and out, and that'll be the next interview we try to get. Okay. I challenge Choke Tiff. I challenge Chineke. Yeah, I challenge you, nigga. You next. Break down who this is. Nigga Choke Tiff, bro. I met this nigga at Santa Monica. I had the speaker in my hand. You know, we was wilding out. This nigga was the only nigga, because you know, them TikTokers be all. Do the. You know, save on the shit. Oh, I don't want to talk to him because I don't know him. This nigga choked him. You know what I'm saying? We came to speak. This nigga was dancing his ass off. He was sweating. That's why I respect this nigga as okay. a motherfucking TikTok. You know what I'm saying? Because okay. I don't like all TikTok. Them, them niggas be fucking on some other shit. Weird. On some, you know, high level shit. You ain't nobody, nigga. I went oh, all wow. But anyway, uh, yeah, choked him. He, he came up and he, he motherfucker, he was dancing with us. And he had the energy we had. The That's nigga good. was sweating. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I like that energy. I love that energy. He wasn't afraid to come out. He That's had good. positivity. I said, oh, yeah, this is my nigga right here. Choked him. Tina K, this nigga, like, he had four mil on uh, TikTok right now. And he wow. verified on TikTok. That's the homie. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going you know I'm I'm to pass the to torch to my boy. Choked All right. We're going to reach out. We definitely going to clip this, send it to him. We're going to try to get him on the show. And 
Hopefully he fucks with us. Oh, he gonna fuck with Thank y'all. Thank you for fucking with us, bro. Hey, come I on, really appreciate man. You come on. He got, he got the he got the Mexican handshake. <laughs> Do that one more time. This nigga said, uh huh. Yeah, he know. Look, I know. He know. I've been a little around the block. Uh, <laughs> just a little bit. You know All right, I saying? feel him. I love um, it. Um, y'all subscribe to my channel, Mouthing Out on YouTube. Fucks with my boy. Yes, sir. Look at his content. Run the numbers up. Continue showing him love. Y'all stay tuned. This guy is gonna be with Jay-Z one of these days, doing deals with the biggest of the names. I can already see it. I one of the biggest the entertainers ever. I'm going to be, I'm, I'm, I'm marking this right now on this show. I'm going to be one of the biggest entertainers ever. There we go. Straight up. There you have it. Oh, and also, oh, hey, my ahead. bad, my bad. Yep. If you were born in a community, in, in, in a certain city, I don't care what block it was, own your block. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 ever, you know what I'm saying, discredit your own your block. Don't ever claim a block and then don't own it. Mm-hmm. Buy some property on that block. You know, fix it up. Help the people around there. Right, get yep. the get the homeless people off the streets. Do some do an event to help your community at the end of the day because you grew up there. Mm. That's how that's what I want to say. All right. Like I always say, F what you talking about, because over here we mouthing out. We mouthing Peace. out.